Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, depending on where you are in the world. This is Gloria White coming to you from Utah, USA. It's probably going on about midnight here, and I am exhausted. <laughs> I am so ready for bed. And but I wanna I want to keep going with our study in the Psalms. So I'm going to do this, and then I am going to go to bed. But first, I'm going to serve the Lord before I do that. So, Old Testament, King James Version of the Holy Bible, Psalm 46, and I'll read 46, 47, 48, 49, and 50. And then I'll go to Proverbs and read Proverbs chapter 8 in a separate video. All right, here we go. Psalm 46, to the chief musician for the sons of Korah, a song upon Al-Amoth, which means an abundantly available help. And so God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore will not we fear, though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though the waters thereof roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof, there is a river, the streams whereof shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacles of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her. And that right early. The heathen raged. The kingdoms were moved. He uttered his voice. The earth melted. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Come, behold the works of the Lord, what desolations he hath made in the earth. He maketh wars to cease unto the end of the earth. He breaketh the bow, and cutteth the spear in sunder. He burned the chariot in fire. Be still, and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Psalm 47. To the chief musician, a psalm for the sons of Korah. O oh, clap your hands, all ye people. Shout unto God with the voice of triumph. For the Lord Most High is terrible or awesome. He is a great king over all the earth. He shall subdue the people under us and the nations under our feet. He shall choose our inheritance for us. The excellency of Jacob, whom he loved. God is gone up with a shout. The Lord with the sound of a trumpet. Sing praises to God. Sing praises. Sing praises unto our King. Sing praises. For God is the King of all the earth. Sing ye praises with understanding. God reigneth over the heathen. God sitteth upon the throne of his holiness. The princes of the people are gathered together. Even the people of the God of Abraham. For the shields of the earth belong unto God. He is greatly exalted. Psalm 48. A song and psalm for the sons of Korah. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised in the city of our God. In the mountain of his holiness. Beautiful for situation. The joy of the whole earth is Mount Zion, on the sides of the north, the city of the great king. God is known in her palaces for a refuge. For lo, the kings were assembled, 
they passed by together. They saw it, and so they marveled. They were troubled and hasted away. Fear took hold upon them there, and pain as a woman in travail. Thou breakest the ships of Tarshish with an east wind. As we have heard, so have we seen in the city of the Lord of hosts, in the city of our God. God will establish it forever. We have thought of thy loving kindness, O God, in the midst of thy temple. According to thy name, O God, so is thy praise unto the ends of the earth. Thy right hand is full of righteousness. Let Mount Zion rejoice. Let the daughters of Judah be glad because of thy judgments. Walk about Zion and go round about her. Tell the towers thereof. And the towers are... Count the towers thereof. Mark ye well her bulwarks. Consider her palaces, that ye may tell it to the generation following. For this God is our God forever and ever. He will be our guide even unto death. Man, amazing. To the chief musician, a psalm for the sons of Korah. Hear this, all ye people. Give ear, all ye inhabitants of the world, both low and high, rich and poor together. My mouth shall speak of wisdom, and the meditation of my heart shall be of understanding. I will incline mine ear to a parable or a proverb. I will open my dark sayings or riddle upon the harp. Wherefore should I fear in the days of evil when the iniquity of my heels shall compass about me or surround me? They that trust in their wealth and boast themselves in the multitude of their riches, none of them can by any means redeem his brother, nor give to God a ransom for him. For the redemption of their soul is precious or costly, and it ceases forever. That he should still live forever and not see corruption or the pit. For he seeth that wise men die, likewise the fool and the brutish person or the senseless person perish, and leave their wealth to others. Their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever, and their dwelling places to all generations. They call their lands after their own names. Nevertheless, man being in honor abideth not, or does not endure. He is like the beast that perish. This, their way, is their folly, the way of those who are foolish. Yet their pros posterity approve their sayings. Like sheep they are laid in the grave, death shall feed on them, and the upright shall have dominion over them in the morning and their beauty shall consume or be consumed in the grave or sheol from their dwelling. But God will redeem my soul from the power of the grave, and he shall receive me. Be not thou afraid when one is made rich, when the glory of his house is increased. For when he dieth, he shall carry nothing away, his glory shall not descend after him. Though while he liveth, he blessed his soul, his soul himself. And men will praise thee when thou doest well to thyself. 
He shall go to the generation of his fathers. They shall never see light or the light of life. Man that is in honor and understandeth not is like the beast that perish. And my Annie has treed something in the bedroom and I'm not quite sure what it is. But the way she's barking, I imagine there's a toy she can't reach. But she's trying very hard. I can hear her working at it. A Psalm of Asaph, Psalm 50. The mighty God, even the Lord, hath spoken and called the earth from the rising of the sun unto the going down thereof. Out of Zion, the perfection of beauty, God hath shined. Our God shall come and shall not keep silence. A fire shall devour before him, and it shall be very temptuous round about him. He shall call to the heavens from above and to the earth, that he may judge his people. Gather my saints together unto me, those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice, and the heavens shall declare his righteousness, for God is judge himself. Hear, O my people, and I will speak. O Israel, and I will testify against thee. I, excuse me, I am God, even thy God. I will not reprove thee for thy sacrifices or thy burnt offerings to have been continually before me. I will take no bullock out of thy house, nor he goats out of thy folds. For every beast of the forest is mine, and the cattle upon a thousand hills. I know all the fowls of the mountains, and the wild beasts of the field are mine. If I were hungry, I would not tell thee, for the world is mine, and the fullness thereof. Will I eat the flesh of bulls, or drink the blood of goats? Offer unto, unto God thanksgiving, and pay thy vows unto the Most High. And call unto me in the day of trouble, I will deliver thee, and thou shalt glorify me. But unto the wicked God saith, What hast thou to do to declare my statutes, or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth? Seeing thou hateth instruction, and casteth my words behind thee. When thou sawest the thief, then thou consentedest with him, and hast been partaker with adulterers. Thou givest thy mouth to evil, and thy tongue frameth deceit. Thou sittest and speakest against thy brother. Thou slanderest thy own mother's son. These things hast thou done, and I kept silence. Thou thoughtest that I was altogether such as one as thyself, but I will reprove thee, and set them in order before thine eyes. Now consider this, ye that forget God, lest I tear you in pieces, and there be none to deliver. What so? Offereth praise, glorifieth me, and to him that ordereth his conversation aright will I show the salvation of God. Wow. It all belongs to him. It's all on loan. We don't own anything, and we won't take any of it with us when we go. So, don't spin your wheels fretting about it. It's not anything that's going with you when you go. And uh, it's not anything that's going to give you comfort where you're at where, when you get there. Um, and, and you certainly don't want to be where there is no God there. So, here we are. Oh, okay. 
So let me end this video because now I'm going to do Proverbs 8. And as always, you know, I love you.